Happy third Sunday of Easter, everyone. That's right, it is still the Easter season. And as you are preparing to uh, participate in Mass from home this weekend, um, here's a couple of things for you to think about as you prepare to engage in Mass. So first, is there a way that you can help your family get ready for Mass? Can you set up a sacred space by finding maybe a white cloth and a candle and a Bible and a cross? If you're able to do that and you have those things in your house, go ahead and gather them someplace near where you're gonna be watching Mass as a family. If you don't have a cross, draw one um, and get those things ready for your family. If you want to, maybe it's been a long time since you've dressed up, the weather's starting to get nicer outside, you can still dress up even though you're not going out for Mass. Um, and the reason why we dress up for Mass usually is because Sundays, every Sunday is a feast day. Every Sunday is like a wedding because it's our time to commune with our God. It's that special time for us as his people to meet with him and to converse with him and to eat a meal with him, kind of like we do at a wedding. So I know all of us are needing reasons to celebrate right now and things to look forward to. So if you haven't dressed up for mass in a while, maybe this weekend's the weekend, go for it, right? So we are continuing to hear in the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Acts of the Apostles is the sequel to Luke's gospel. And the gospel today is from Luke. And Acts of the Apostles is a wonderful book because it teaches us about the early church, what the first Christians were like after Jesus ascended back to the Father. So there's so many things that we can learn from that book. Our second reading is from St. Peter, our first Pope, once again, teaching us what it means to follow Christ, kind of those basic elements of what it means to be a Christian, a follower of Jesus. The Gospel this Sunday is one of my favorite readings. It's called The Road to Emmaus. And before um, Jesus ascended back to the Father, he told his disciples, stay in Jerusalem because I'm gonna send you a helper. They didn't know what that meant, but Jesus gave them some pretty clear directions. I want you to listen today, when you're listening to the gospel proclaimed at mass, what do these disciples, they're gonna talk about two disciples in particular in the gospel, what were these two disciples doing? So think about that, all right? Now here's some other, questions for you to maybe think about. Maybe you can talk to your parents about it before Mass or after Mass. But during the Gospel, these disciples are going to meet Jesus. And they don't recognize him at first. And sometimes I think that can be like you and I, right? Jesus is still alive and very active in our lives. But do we see him? Are we looking for him? And do we see him? So think back maybe on this last week as a family and say, where were some times when we saw Jesus, when we saw him moving and active in our lives? Um, who are the people in your life that help you to see Jesus? Is it your parents, your grandparents, Father Juan, your Christian formation teacher, your older sibling? Who are those people that help you to see Jesus? In the gospel, Jesus shares a meal with his disciples, and there's something special about sharing a meal together. So what's so special about sharing a meal? Are you having special meals at home now that we have all this extra time? Are you helping out in the kitchen? Are you all sitting around the dinner table and creating new traditions? Because there's something that bonds us around the dinner table, right? Um, yeah, so your challenge for mass today is to figure out what were those two disciples doing? How did those disciples recognize Jesus when he came into their lives? And then think about you. How do you recognize Jesus when he comes into your life? Lord God, we thank you so much for the gift of our church. We thank you for all the people who are working so hard to help to bring the gospel and to bring mass to us while we are at home. Holy Spirit, please help us to focus as best as we can. 
And Holy Spirit, please help us to see Jesus when he is living and active in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed day to all of you. Bye.